time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh, story time with Mr. Lamada. Will all your dreams come true? Brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't live lonely, won't you stop? All the reading, I just can't wait to be here. Story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh. He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all reading? I just can't wait to be here. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Story Time. Oh my goodness, we're here, we made it. Technical difficulties, but we are here. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. Glad that we're here together. Happy, happy Wednesday, wherever you're joining us from, and I hope that you are okay. Thank you for being here, and of course, sending you love, 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 and hugs wherever you are. And um, yeah, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for joining us this lovely morning. We do have a wonderful book to read together, and this one is called Jobs and Work People Do. Do you know? Yes, we're going to be looking at that and looking at some of those jobs in here and work that people do. And maybe there's some other jobs there that won't be mentioned that we are not talking about that you know about and would like to share with us. Thank you so much for joining in today. Glad we're here together on Story Time. Thank you indeed for being here. Absolutely appreciate you. And of course, story time is here every weekday, um, 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. Pacific time on Story Time with Mr. Limada on Facebook and of course YouTube. But you can also find us at Storytime with Mr. Limada. Calm. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to Storytime. A fantastic week that we have ahead and um, loving it, loving it so far. Thank you so much for joining in and we have so many great books coming up. And if you haven't checked out our lineup yet, there we go. This is our lineup this week. Amazing science related books and of course, just amazing books in general. Thank you for being here with us on Storytime. And also we are celebrating Angela Darton's new release coming up January 17th to boldly go how Nichelle Nichols and Star Trek um, helped advance civil rights. That one is coming out January 17th, 2023. Keep an eye out for that one. And of course, Jack the Library Cat is coming out on March 1st, 2023. So be sure to catch that one as well. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. Lots to look forward to. And of course, today we do have jobs and work people do do you know series coming up the third in a row today we've read um two we read about trains we read about space and today we're reading about jobs are you ready thank you so much for joining in story time glad you're here with us let us see who is with us this morning ready to enjoy a wonderful story good morning good morning to you amanda how are you doing amanda waltman thank you so much for joining in today and of course you're saying good morning from a still dark seattle just like here in auckland too p and i are snuggled up on the couch and ready for today's story well thank you so much for joining in good to see you here here with us. Love it, love it, love it. Baby Pia, good to see you. It's been a minute. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. And I'm glad that you're joining us from out in Seattle um, today, where you're saying it is still dark. I hope that indeed the weather is kind to you. Thank you so much for joining in today. <laughs> good morning to you, Amanda. Where's Sarah and Nathan in a cloudy Illinois. Thank you so much for joining in. We love today's photograph. Such a beautiful view of nature, isn't it? It is lovely indeed. And um, 
For those that are just coming in and may have missed it, this is our beautiful picture for today out at uh, Whistler in British Columbia, Canada. So, yes, a beautiful place indeed. If you have not been, put it on your list. Thank you so much for joining in. Good morning to you. Absolutely love it. Good morning to you, Sharon Lungo. And of course, Soraya. Thank you so much for joining us today on Storytime. I hope that you are well. And yes, indeed, rains and um, continue here in Oakland. There's been a bit of breaks here and there, but definitely floods throughout um, California, as you may have seen in the news. And uh, your positive vibes, your prayers are important and need your well wishes. And of course, if you can donate to certain spaces that help with uh, flood victims, and so on please do just that thank you so much for joining in story time today glad we're here together talking of which some jobs right right now people out there helping others and um just so important please please if we um if you're in any you know, of the affected areas and you don't need you don't have to be on the road please um um stay home if you can or indeed um uh reduce the amount of time that you're you're out there so that emergency vehicles and everybody else can get through thank you so much for joining in story time today absolutely appreciate you good morning to you tara mcnamara clara and erin out in massachusetts thank you so much for joining us on story time today glad we are here together and we do have some job to do. Yes, we do have a book to read together. Do you know? Yes, the third in a row of the Do You Know series, Jobs and Work People Do. And this one is from Emil Gorostis. And um, I'm excited for this one. And it is coming as well from 12 Books, an imprint of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Get ready, get comfortable, get cozy, snuggle up like Bea and Amanda. Well, this story is coming your way. Thank you so much for joining in today. And I'll catch you on the other side of this brief message. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. Yes, Angela's book is coming out. Get ready. <laughs> Hello, Storytime friends. My name is Angela Dalton, and I'm an author of picture books. Some you may have even seen read right here on Storytime with Mr. LaMada. I'm excited to tell you about my brand new picture book called To Boldly Go, How Nichelle Nichols and Star Trek Help Advance Civil Rights. It comes out January 17th, and it's an amazing story about the legendary Nichelle Nichols and her role on Star Trek, which she left until a very special person reminded her about the impact that she was making, not just on television, but around the world. And I'm excited to tell you that myself and Lauren Semmer, the illustrator, will be coming here on January 20th to read the book to you and to answer any questions that you might have and to tell you a little bit about the book and how we came up with the idea for it. I hope that you'll join us again on January 20th right here in Storytime with Mr. LaMada. Until then, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about me, please visit me at AngelaDalton.com. Okay, now we got to get back to the story today on Storytime with Mr. LaMada. I hope you're enjoying it. I know I am. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Welcome back. Thank you indeed. Get ready. Do, do, do remember to ask for that book at your local library, of course. Use those library resources around and hopefully you have one near you. Thank you so much for joining in today. A lovely book that we have. And this one is talking about jobs. Do you know jobs and work people do? This one is written by Emil Gorostis. Illustrations, again, by a multiple, um, multiple illustrators. We have uh, Pierre Kailou, Hélène Cover, Jean-Sébastien Dehiga, and Christian Gibbon. And this one is coming to you from 12 Books, an imprint of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Get ready. Here we go. Jobs and the work people do. And just some of the ones that are covered in here. And we know that this is not an exhaustive list, right? This is not the entire list. There's so many other jobs that have been probably created since this book was written and also that have been created just in the last few years, right? Yeah, and maybe you know some that we don't even know about. Yeah. <laughs> we do have what is, um, I guess, what was at one point the traditional jobs, the ones that uh, were there. But right now, people do so many different things. And there's so much, so much that anybody can do out there um, uh, if they want to. All right. So we're going to start off, of course, we're going to start with bookmaking or making books. <laughs> 
age 22. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Let's go to page 22 and make some books. Are you ready? Oh, my goodness. Making books. How do you think books are made? Oh, my. We have one just here. Well, listen to this. Making books. The books you read at home or at school are created by many people who work together to bring you exciting stories. Oh, yes. So people work together. Lots of people work together to bring us this story right here. The books you read at home or at school are created by many people who work together to bring you exciting stories. Oh, there's people, sketches, creating the images based on the story. It's the author writes the story, coming up with an idea and writing the story. Yeah. And then there's the drawing table where the illustrator works or wherever they work, their studio. And then working with the author to shape the story, choosing the illustrator, planning the format of the book, Goodness, so much. Putting the words and pictures together on the pages by the designer. Who else? Well, there's the copy editor who's correcting the errors. What did we miss? What mistakes are in there? How can we correct them? Well, there's the print operator. They're monitoring the printing process. And then you have the print manager. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And then there's promoting the book by the publicist. There's the sales representative presenting the book to booksellers. Oh, my. And then there's the bookstores, too. They're the booksellers organizing the book signings and so much more. Window display selling books. So much. Oh, look at what goes into making a book and making sure it is out there in your hands. <laughs> but how do you become an author, you say? Well, I'm sure you do this many times, kids. You may have a great imagination and love to make up stories. These are important qualities if you decide to become an author. You also need to keep coming up with the story ideas and practice writing all the time. When your story is finished, you might send it to the, live, to the literary agent who will help you find a publisher interested in turning your story into your book. Yes. And now you've heard too, there's also independent publishing. If you have the means you're able, you can go that route too. And there are other, others that have done it. But that's, goes into making books. That's a lot. Look at all the different people involved. The author, the illustrator, the editor, the copy editor, the designer, the print operator, the print manager. Oh my goodness, the bookseller. Yeah, so many. The publicist. <laughs> making books. Does that sound like something that you want to do? <laughs> Does that sound like something that you want to do? <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, how about the next one? Let's look at our next bit of work. And this one I'm excited about too. This one is called Designing Toys. Oh my. Let's look at Designing Toys on page 32. Two. Oh my goodness. Designing toys. Don't you want to do that job? <laughs> yes, indeed. Designing toys. So we've looked at making books. We're looking at designing toys right now. Is that something that you'd want to do? What do you like about the toys you have at home? What would you change? <laughs> what would you add to them? What would you take away? Yeah, you're a designer already. It takes teams of people to come up with and make the toys everyone loves to play with. Oh. <laughs> There's sketching by a designer. Our designers come into work. There's the research department choosing the materials and colors. Yeah. 
is making a prototype. Yeah, let's try it. And now with the coming of 3D printers, so much more is being done. And then there's the craftspeople, the workshop, the people that drill and cut and paint and do all that amazing work. There's people applying vanish if your toy needs vanish. There's the worker at the factory putting pieces together, plastic injection molding machine, and many others. There's the laboratory, the technicians in there working, and testing out the toys. Oh, and then, of course, the toy gets to you. <laughs> it takes teams of people to come up with and make the toys everyone loves to play with. Right. Oh, and sometimes people have made toys on their own and then other people have come in and helped them make many more. Yeah. Is that something that sounds like something that you want to do? Making toys? <laughs> I would want to be a toy tester for sure. That does sound fun. Trying out all the things. Kind of like we do with story time. We test out all the books. <laughs> All right, are we ready for our next one? Well, here we go. Here's our next line of work. Oh, a zookeeper's day. Does that sound like fun? <laughs> a zookeeper's day. Oh, my goodness. There's also at an ice cream factory. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's start with the zookeeper's day. Is that something you want to do? All right, let's go. Page 82. <laughs> A zookeeper's day. Oh my goodness. There's so much. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Page 82. A zookeeper's day. Oh my. I hope you're able to see these pictures clearly. Look at that. <sighs> Zookeepers spend their day taking care of animals. They have to learn to deal with different kinds of creatures. Would you do that job? <laughs> well, in the morning, they prepare the meals for the animals, fixing the fences, cleaning up poop. <laughs> They're on walkie-talkies talking with each other every day, calling the veterinarian, calling everybody, checking in with each other, making sure everything is on time and in place. Well, feeding the penguins. Oh, cute. Examining the tapirs, hiding food to keep <laughs> the, the lemurs active. <laughs> oh, how about the afternoon? Well, welcoming new animals, putting food out some more, weighing a baby koala, keeping watch as eggs hatch. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Feeding the animals. Right. Zookeepers do so much, taking care of sick animals. I don't know if you've all seen the news. There's a, a baby mountain, um, a mountain lion cub that is at the Oakland Zoo right now. And um, she's doing so much better. When she first came in, she was found by um, some people out in, in, in Santa Cruz and she had been abandoned by her, um, her pride. And so she was a, a, able to the zoo is able to take her in and taking care of her right now. Yeah. Does that sound like something you want to do? Well, we ask, how dangerous is a zookeeper's job? Well, zookeepers don't spend their day petting cute baby tigers. <laughs> they never forget that the animals they care for are wild creatures. Zookeepers always make sure that they and zoo visitors are safe. They use safety equipment such as gloves, boots, and catch poles. They also conduct drills to prepare for animal escapes, and they always check that the animal areas are secure. Oh my. There you go. Lots and lots of work, lots to remember too. Important work it is. <laughs> Well, after that journey through the zoo, looking at all the things that the zookeepers do, I'm ready for some ice cream, are you? 
<laughs> All right, off to the ice cream workshop. <laughs> off to the ice cream workshop. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Ice cream factory, ice cream factory. Did I say workshop? Ice cream factory. <laughs> Page 86, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Page 86, oh my. Yum, yum, yum. Anybody else ready for ice cream after this? <laughs> At an ice cream factory. Oh my goodness. For many people, nothing can taste better on a hot day than ice cream. Well, even on a cold day for some people. <laughs> Who's involved in bringing this delicious treat to everyone? Well, let's find out. <laughs> oh, there is testing each product and tasting the fruit puree and it goes into the production line oh my quality controller <laughs> yes how is that ice cream how is that flavor <laughs> and then there are the workers monitoring the machine that fills the tubs. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Then there's the marketing team coming up with possible names for a new ice cream flavor. Yeah, what's your favorite? Well, send me some cookies and cream any day. <laughs> Seeing what customers think. Yes, that is important. You out there. What do you think of the flavors that are made? Why is the flavor popular? Well, the marketing team handles that. This is the graphic designer. These ones design the logo. Think of all the ice creams that you know and their labels, their designs. Somebody came up with that. And then putting the containers in the freezers. Look at those colorful yellow containers. Yum, yum, yum. And then there's the lab where more testing happens with the flavorist. Doesn't that sound like a cool job? Flavorist. I just picture their, their space smelling good, smelling like vanilla, smelling like all the sweet smells in there. Oh my goodness. Mixing flavors and creating new flavors. Doesn't that sound cool? <laughs> and then there's creative agency. Well, the creative team, they help develop plans to sell products. How do we get those uh, ice cream into people's Hands and mouths. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, who creates the commercials that we see? You ask. Well, here we go. If an ice cream commercial made you want to eat ice cream, it did its job well. The commercial was made by an advertising agency. The agency came up with a slogan or a catchphrase that is easy to remember and makes you think of the ice cream. Next, an actor and a director were hired to film the commercial. Then the commercial was edited and music was added, making it ready to show on TV. Oh, wherever you catch your shows. <laughs> so that is some work that goes into ice cream production at the ice cream factory and i want to close up today our last one that we're going to look at there's so many so many jobs out there but i want to close out with one another one that is um uh dear dear to my heart of course as a as a, a soccer fan i will close out with soccer stadium ah oh, work at a soccer stadium oh my goodness what page is that are you ready to run around a little bit all right, here we go. Page 30. Oh, love this spot. Page 30, Soccer Stadium. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Whoa. Who works at a soccer stadium? Is there a soccer stadium near you? What's your local team? <laughs> Playing professional soccer is a job. There are also many jobs related to the sport. Yes, not just the athletes on the field. Exercising to strengthen muscles. Yeah. Supervising warm-ups. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the so professional soccer player. There's the fitness trainer. That's one you could do. There's the coach. There you go. Explaining game strategies. And some people are really good at it. And if we practice, we can get better too. Well, there is the referee. <laughs> it's a tough job, this one. Really tough. <laughs> I think there should be so much more um, mental health um, um, belt, mental health um, protections built into the into referee's job. It is one of the hardest for sure. Yeah, the referees, they communicate with the video assistant referee. And they also keep the game in check on the field. Warning a player by showing a yellow card. Yeah. <laughs> There's negotiating contracts for players. That doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> Looking for new players. Recruitment sounds like fun. Conducting an interview. Yes, the sports reporter, the sports scout, sports agent. Well, it's training young players, the youth coach, the academy coaches. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's the ones that treat the injuries. Yes, the physiotherapists and other sports medical physicians, sports medicine physicians attending to injured players. And to close, how do soccer stars earn money? You may have heard of soccer players who earn lots of money, enough to buy and drive a different car every day or for a year. Professional soccer teams often pay a lot of money to get the best soccer players to play for their team. Popular soccer stars can also earn money off the field by appearing on events and in adver advertisements. But you know what? There's so many other jobs there too that we can do. We can volunteer in spaces. We can do jobs that make us happy, jobs that help our communities so much more. I just thought I should look at some of them, of course, some that I love, and then just some that I thought that we might want to look at. And of course, we know there are many. There's jobs in education. There's jobs in all the other fields that uh, we usually talk about. And I thought today we should talk about others, something different like the ice cream factory that we may not think about on a regular basis. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful book, Jobs and Work People Do. And there is so much more in here. And again, like I said, these are not the only ones. There's so many jobs that people do either working for themselves on their own Oh, indeed, um, working with others. Like in this community too, we know that we have amazing people that do so many different jobs, including Amanda Waltman, who is a photographer. Love it, love it, love it. And so many other jobs. So, so much that you can think about. Join me on the other side of this short message. Thank you for being here with us, friends. Absolutely appreciate you all. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda with Amanda Waltman Photography. I'm a photographer and printmaker based in the Pacific Northwest and I believe that your face deserves wall space. Enjoy today's story time with my favorite storyteller, Mr. LaMotta. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in today on Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. And indeed, yes, photography and printmaking is another line of work that you could do. So much that people do. And I hope that whatever you end up doing brings you joy, makes you happy, and of course, gives you the time for some self-care. And of course, if a job, if something that you do is not working out or you don't feel um, that it brings you the energy that you desire, there's always change. You can always try another field. You can always try other spaces and keep going. Yes. So don't feel like you are stuck in whatever it is that you're doing. There's so much more that we can do out there. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. And I know that we've not mentioned everything here. So please, if you want, put it away in the in the in the messages and we'll try and bring it up. But of course, find that thing that makes you happy and hope that um you know, and, and do it, do it to the best of your ability. Do it, do it as, as long as you enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Glad we were here together. A wonderful book indeed. Jobs and work people do. And of course, we know with the pandemic too, there's been such change in how jobs are looked at, what jobs 
have been at a particular place, an office, or jobs that you can do from home, right? So, so many different things that um, we, we've, we've re-evaluated how we look at jobs. Thank you so, so much for joining in Storytime. And before I forget to, there is a rainbow is our special mention for today. This one from Teresa Trinder and, of course, Grant Snyder and um, a beautiful book indeed. And this one just for all, uh, all our friends all, that are affected out there, you know, adversely by this weather these weather conditions floods here in california and so much more that is happening and just want to um just just remind each other just remind them as well that there is a rainbow there is hope at the end of all this so please 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 hang in there thank you so much for joining in story time and i'm glad that we were here together well this has been story time for today and this has been story time for this wonderful wednesday morning so we're back with another story tomorrow, another exciting one. And we will be sleuthing and solving. So do join this one, Science, Sleuth and Solve. And this one coming to you from um, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. And they had 20 plus mind twisting mysteries. So do join in for this one. Come ready to investigate. This one is coming to us from Victor Escadel, and uh, excited to share this one tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining in. If you remember, we did bring one of these uh, from this series, which was the Sleuth and Solve Halloween. And now we're back with Sleuth and Solve science. I must say that sleuth is one of those words that I find difficult to say. <laughs> I'm actually doing well today. <laughs> Good morning to you, Marlin. How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining in today. Glad you were here with us. And of course, Marlin, I hope you're able to join us at least for the trip to the, to, the, to the ice cream factory. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. Absolutely appreciate you. Good morning to you out there in Seattle. And of course, good morning to you, Amanda and Baby Bia, one more time. Good morning to you, Tara McNamara. And of course, Erin out there in... Um, in Massachusetts. And of course, Clara, thank you so much for joining us on Storytime today. Good morning to you, Soraya, right here in Oakland. Thank you so much for joining us. Glad you are here. Please have a lovely Wednesday. And of course, good morning to you, Sarah and Nathan, out in cloudy Illinois today. We love today's photograph. Such a beautiful view of nature, isn't it? Please keep sending us those pictures and we will keep sharing them here. So many places for us to see out there. So many places to explore. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. And I hope that everybody had a special place where you're all snuggled up, having your snack, listening to stories today, and of course, contemplating some of those jobs that are out there. And of course, create your own. I know there's so much that we'll be creating, so much that you'll be doing, and I hope that you have fun time. Yes, enjoy your work. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. Absolutely love it. Thank you for being here with us. And of course, we were taking a trip today to Whistler in British Columbia, um, Canada. So there we go. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate it and every one of you. And of course, too, as you know, there's two books that we're particularly looking forward to. There are many books, but there's two that we're particularly looking forward to here on Storytime. And of course, this one coming from Angela Darton coming to you on January 17th, 2023. It is coming here in a few days to boldly go. And of course, remember too that Angela Darton and Lauren Summer will be here on Storytime on January 20th. So look out for that. And of course, too, Jack the Library Cat coming out March 1st, 2023. Be sure to check that one out. And of course, our wonderful lineup of stories this week coming up. And of course, tomorrow we do have Sleuth and so science. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. This has been Storytime for today. This has been Storytime for this wonderful Wednesday morning. And I hope that you and your loved ones are well and sending you extra, extra love and wishing you all the best. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Please join in tomorrow. Come with your detective hat on and ready to sleuth and solve. This has been story time for today. Much love, everybody. Of course, remember too that you can catch story time at Story Time with Mr. Limada on Facebook and YouTube. You can also catch us at Storytime with Mr. Limada.com. And of course, you can always follow us on Instagram as well. See everything happening, story time. Thank you so much for being here, friends. Much love from me. And I will see you again tomorrow for more story time. Bye-bye. <laughs>